The why stock is down. Is this a buying opportunity? That's going to be the topic of today's video. Okay, everyone, if you're an expat or a high net wealth individual, go over to adamfire.com and see how I can help you. Now, on this video, I'm going to talk about the Y stock. Now, Y is previously known as TransferWise. Uh, went on the London Stock Exchange about uh, six to 12 months ago. And as per my previous videos, I'm a big fan of what WISE has done. They've made uh, business transactions so much easier. They've got their business accounts, they've got their personal accounts, they've reduced the friction in terms of money exchange, and the model is great. So I'm a big fan of their business. However, that doesn't mean I believe in investing in their stock per se. And what's interesting is they started very well, the stock went up and now it's down quite a lot. So WISE is down <coughs> about 30, 35% from its peak, uh, at least when I made this video. And some people are saying, is this a buying opportunity? Now, let's look at things systematically. Why has WISE actually gone down? Now, obviously it's speculation because at the end of the day, WISE has shown tremendous growth. The amount of revenue, the amount of profit has grown. Um, and not only that, they are profitable, whereas a lot of uh, financial technology firms are not profitable currently. But I think the main reasons that WISE are currently um, you know, down a little bit is number one, there's speculation about the fact that interest rates could rise in the UK and beyond. Um, that affects technology companies because a lot of technology companies, including financial technology companies, they grow their business by actually taking advantage of low exchange, uh, sorry, uh, interest rates, and then reinvesting um, into the business for more, you know, quick revenue growth, and eventually that'll be profitable. However, Wise um, and our firms could actually uh, take a hit if interest rates go up. I mean, that's one of the speculations out there. But I think a bigger thing is competition. I mean, even Facebook is going into this space now. And for that matter, PayPal is so much bigger than Wise. And what's interesting is at the moment, PayPal is more expensive than Wise, but I think they're willing to do that at the moment because Wise is still small. But if Wise keeps getting market share in terms of more users uh, over time, PayPal might decide to outcompete Wise. So I think some people in the market think that basically Wise doesn't have a sustainable competitive advantage. We'll have to see if that's the case or it isn't the case. But one thing I do know is this space is only going to get bigger, whether it's PayPal, whether it's Wise, or whether it's completely new companies that nobody has heard of. I think financial you know, technology is very much here to stay. We just don't know who the winners are going to be. Uh, Wise's stock looks a little bit undervalued at the moment, uh, potentially, but it is uh, a little bit risky as well. How can I help you in two ways? First of all, are you an expat, a high net wealth individual, or just somebody who lives in a part of the world where it's difficult to get access to quality investment solutions? In which case, go onto my website on adamfired.com and find out more. If you don't fit into any of those categories, then in which case there's a range of free material on my website, on this YouTube channel, and indeed on my Quora, where I get over 200 or have received over 231 million views uh, in the last few years. And finally, if you want to uh, actually read my thoughts in more detail, go onto Amazon and find my book on there.